Hey guys, thanks for watching and Ask My Auto Mechanic. In this video, we're going to show you guys how to replace the door lock actuator on a 2008 Honda CRV. My neighbor's had some troubles with his door lock and he's asked us to fix this door lock. So, we're going to show you in about 10 minutes, hopefully, how to replace this door lock actuator. All right, so on this CRV, what we've got going on here is the door lock is just making this buzzing sound. It's not completely locking or unlocking. So what that means is, is the actuator motor inside the door is worn out. Okay, so the first step is we've got to remove this door panel here, and you just need some basic tools, a uh, flat-headed screwdriver, hook tool, a drill, and possibly a panel popper can make this a little bit easier. All right, so there's a few things that you've got to start with. So you've got this little plastic piece here that you've got to remove. You've got a plastic piece in here and another one here. Behind these plastic pieces are some screws that you have to remove. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to move this little plastic panel behind the handle and you grab your hook tool and reach in there and pull the little tab down. And then we're going to take those screws out. Okay, and then you've got another little plastic panel right here that we've got to take that little thing out. And there's going to be another screw back up in there. And then right inside here, you've got another little plastic panel that you use hook tool to remove this plastic panel as well. All right, KJ the tool man, hand me a panel popper. Thanks, buddy. Okay, now we've got to remove this little piece right here. That's just going to pop out. It's got a couple clips that you've got to carefully just pull that out with. Okay, so now we've got the screws out of the door panel. We've got one out of here, two in there, one out there. We've got this off. Now we can use our panel popper or flat-headed screwdriver and just carefully go around the outside of the door panel to pull it off. Okay, so I just noticed that there's another screw right underneath here, so you've got to remove this little plastic panel, and there's going to be another screw behind there. Okay, so now the panel's pretty much loose. It should just pull up, and then you can take it and pull it back. And then you're going to disconnect the cables that are on the other side of this handle so you can pull the uh, door panel away. Okay, so this is on the back side of the handle here, and you've got a couple clips that you've got to remove. And you've got this one here you've got to pull off, and it has kind of two little locking tabs in there that snap up out of this hole. And then you've got, you can see right here, there's two more little snaps. You've got to squeeze these with your fingers or needle nose pliers and then pull the clip down out of the little locking tab. Do the same thing over here and the same thing over here to get these cables off of the back, back side of the handle. Okay, so also you've got your wiring connector that plugs into the back of the window switch. You've gotta unplug this from the window switch so that you can pull the door panel away from the door. Okay, so now we've got the door panel off. Now it's time to remove this uh, door lock actuator. Um, it's actually the whole latch assembly for this door. Uh, you can see there's an electrical connector here that you're gonna unplug and pull out. You've got a screw right here. You've got three screws on this side. And then it's going to be easier to have the window up. And then you've got a little uh, clip that you've got to unhook right here that hooks the outside door handle to this rod. Uh, but we'll unclip that little clip right there, undo the screws, pull this uh, uh, plastic back here a little bit, and then we'll remove the latch out and then just install it back into place. Okay, so first you take a little hook tool and reach up in there and there's a plastic clip that hooks around the rod for the handle. And you take this clip, the hook tool will actually pull that off really easily and then pull the rod out of its little slot that it hangs into. It's not a bad idea to have a flashlight so you can look up in there and see how the mechanism comes together. Okay, so you gotta be careful not to strip out the screw heads. And uh, if you've got a, a really big number three screwdriver, that worked really good on this screw right here. Then you've also got your screws that plug in right here. Okay, so next take these screws here and also remove them. These babies are jammed in there. 
Okay, so these screws here can become jammed in there. They can be kind of seized in there. And if they're seized in there, then you've got to drill them out if you strip them out. So uh, something that I found that can be helpful is if you take your screw driver and put it in the hole and then just kind of tap on it with your hammer a few times, sometimes that will help break the screw loose. And sometimes not. All right, so KG and I have been having a tough time getting these dang screws out of here without stripping them out. Um, I've tried hitting them with a hammer. I've tried just about everything. Um, I was able to get this one out here. It looks like from the factory they put a blue Loctite on them, which makes them really difficult to get out. Now, I found a little uh, DeWalt uh, Phillips bit here that's a number three. I've got it in my larger impact driver here, and then I just kind of pushed really, really hard, and I was able to uh, get it out with this number three tip. If I had a number two tip, it sh for sure would have stripped it out. So definitely find a number three in a heavier impact driver like this. Uh, this is an 18 volt uh, impact driver. Seemed to work pretty good on that one. We'll see if it works good on these other two here. Put a lot of body weight into it. And uh, pretty much came right out of there. So hopefully we have good success with the number three screw. Okay guys, so that's the trick there to get these uh, screws out. Find you a number three DeWalt Phillips head, put it in your impact driver, and they come right out of there. Now I've got the old latch out of the door here, and you've got this little plastic cover that you've got to uh, take off of here, and it has a couple screws on it that hold it in place. You basically just undo the screws, pull that off, and now you've got these two cables here that you've got to unhook from this little mechanism in here. Take your hook tool and unhook the little black locking tab from this cable and pull that directly out of there. You've also got to pull the mechanism just out of the little holder there. And then you're going to do the same thing with this one right here. Just unhook it and just unhook that little cable from there. Now you just take your uh, cable and put it into your new actuator. Put that in that little slot like that and then slide this back into place pushing it in there like that. Take the other cable and reinstall it. Push that back in that little hole right there. And now you've got that locking in place and then take and reinstall the cover. All right, so a good tip is this bolt right here holds the bottom of the window track into place. If you take this bolt out, the window track moves further into the door and it's easier to get the lock actuator in and out of there. All right, so I've got the latch reinstalled back into its place. Now you just plug back in the electrical connector, make sure all your bolts are tight, and then uh, position this stuff back into place, uh, sliding the cables here through this uh, hole. And you can just push this plastic stuff back, the silicone glue that they have there. Okay, now you just take the cables, hook those back up, put all the screws back in, put the little plastic panels on there and uh, double check the operation. All right, KJ, bring me that door panel. Here you go. Thanks, buddy. Okay, so we plug the electrical connectors back into the window switch here. Give me a five, bro. Yeah, thanks for your help. KJ, the tool man, is uh, the best tool guy around, and uh, uh, KJ's tips, we're gonna link those below the video there. You can go through and uh, uh, click on some of the helpful tool links that uh, will help you complete this project. Right, bro? Yeah. Yeah.